Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, we are going to see what is ROC and AUC curve in machine learning. So this is going to be a two part video. So make sure that you watch the second part after watching this first part. All right, so let's begin. So here, let's understand this definition of ROC AUC curve. So ROC AUC curve is the performance measure for classification problems at different thresholds. And ROC is your probability curve and AUC is measure of separability between classes. So here you plot this curve against true positive rate versus false positive rate and it looks something like this. So here on the x axis you have the false positive rate and on the y axis you have the true positive rate and this green line here represents your ROC that is ROC curve so receiver operating curve and here your AUC is the area under this curve here all right uh, which is in gray color so i know it is a bit of overwhelming but we are going to simplify this so let's move forward before moving forward let's see what is true positive rate and false positive rate so here your true positive rate is your recall or you call this as sensitivity as well so what is recall recall is out of actual positive how many you were able to identify correctly right so here is your actual positive which is true positive plus false negative we'll see that and here the true negative is specificity you call this as specificity and we will see what is that all right so here your true positive is given by true positive divided by true positive plus false negative and your true negative is given by true negative divided by false positive plus true negative so here true negative is out of all those negative cases actual negative cases how many you are able to identify correctly so this is your true negative rate or specificity and your false positive rate is nothing but it is 1 minus specificity and if you do the mathematics here 1 minus true negative divided by false positive plus true negative it comes out to be false positive divided by false positive plus true negative so this is your true positive rate and false positive rate now let's move forward and consider that you want to predict whether a person has heart disease or not so you have the cholesterol levels of this persons and you want to predict whether they have heart disease or not all right so two important point to consider here is this which is marked in circle with green color here this person has the cholesterol level high but the person does not have heart disease similarly if you consider this person this person here has the high cholesterol level but sorry low cholesterol level and this person has the heart disease right now let's say you build a logistic regression model that will predict the probability of a patient having heart disease so here you have the probability between 0 and 1 and you want to find out a threshold where you can set this threshold and predict whether a person is having heart disease or not so here let's say we set this threshold at 0 0.5 so by default if you build a logistic regression model it is going to consider 0 0.5 as its threshold so here anything that is below this 0 
it will be classified as not having heart disease and anything above this 0 0.5 is going to be considered as having heart disease now here by setting this threshold to 0 0.5 we are doing a good job at predicting whether a person has heart disease or not but here we also have two misclassified points here so here this person has high cholesterol level and by setting this threshold to 0 0.5 it is going to be above this threshold right so you classify this person as having heart disease but in actuality this person does not have heart disease similarly for this person here which is in red he has low cholesterol level but he does have the heart disease but by tracing sorry by setting this threshold to 0 0.5 you see that this person here is classified as not having heart disease right so we have this two misclassified points here now let's move forward so let's calculate the sensitivity here for this classification by setting the threshold at 0 0.5 you get this sensitivity equals to 0 0.75 and your specificity is equals to 0 0.75 as well as we are only doing making two errors that is here and here that is false positive and false negative right now let's move forward and let's say you change this threshold to 0 0.1 all right and by setting this threshold at 0 0.1 now if you see here you are able to correctly classify this person marked with one here so by lowering our threshold now we are able to classify this person here but if you see you are again misclassifying these two points which are three and two marked in circle with green color now you are classifying them as having a heart disease but in actuality don't they don't have the heart disease right so now the question is what threshold should we choose right so we are going to see that in our next video so stay tuned